Hey y'all, Rick Fearless, Fearless, Stroker's Dallas, Stroker's Ice House, Punch Wally Garage, Fearless Services. Good morning. How you doing? All right. Today is Monday, June the 10th, 2024, year of our Lord. Season number two, episode number 162. In today's show, we will cover Biggin. We will cover Presser. We will cover Marriage. Let's go. In My Life, The 366 Project, coming to you almost live from almost downtown Dallas in the powerful CHUMP studio. Brought to you by Reliable Diamond Tool. That's ReadyTo.com. R-E-D-I-T-O-O dot com. Check them out. It's also brought to you by Simpson Motorcycle Helmets. They're the best. They are the best. We are a dealer. Strokers Dallas Merch. M-E-R-C-H dot com. Today the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine goes way back to last night. I stayed out late last night. I didn't get to bed till 10. <laughs> 10 o'clock, that's early. <laughs> I get up at 1.30. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 10 o'clock, that's late. But I had a good reason. My daughter, Lena, that I call Biggin, got married last night. She married Elliot Presser. It was a very small, family-only wedding. Most people didn't even know about it. It was just the immediate immediate family there and I couldn't be happier for them. You know, as a parent, you want your children to be happy. And if you can find your life's partner, man, that's big. Well, Lena has found her life partner in Elliot Presser. Great guy. He owns a construction company called Spire, S-P-I-R-E Construction. They do construction. They do roofing. They do heating and air conditioning. He's actually fixed a, uh, fixed a roof leak in my house, which the roof leak caused some floor damage. And uh, we live in a pier and beam house over in North Irving by MacArthur High School. And he's fixed the floor. There's the hardwood floors. And those guys are awesome. Awesome. Very professional the way you want it to be. Mr. Fairless, we're going to be there at 9.15. They're there at 9.15. Try getting that from most construction companies or roofing companies or heating and air conditioning company. Spire Construction, S-P-I-R-E. But the cool thing is that Lena has found her, uh, I'm going to say it, a young Rick Fairless. That's what I used to tell my girls. You girls need a young Rick Fairless. And what I mean by that is, I think I used to say, you need a young Rick Fairless or you need a young Randy Fairless. And when I say that, I mean somebody that's going to love you fierce, man. Somebody is going to love you fierce, and they are going to put you first. And they are going to work their butt off to provide for you. You'll always be first. My wife, Sue, is always first in my life. Well, Lena has found her young Rick Fairless, and so has my daughter, Chelsea the Rat. She has found her uh, young Rick Fairless. His name is Chad Tucker. And uh, they are engaged. And I'll be so happy when they are married too. I might stay out till 10 o'clock again. So congratulations, uh, Elliot and Lena Presser. I'm so happy for you. Welcome to the Fairless family, Elliot. All right, let's check that Chuck. That's not that mushy stuff. Let's check that Chuck. You... Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! What do you call that color? Well, I don't want to go there. I'm, I think it's kind of a pea green. P-E-A. 
green. Boot bottom. You got kind of a leather looking uh, logo there. White toe, white toe. Double black racing straps. Green shoe strings. One eye down. Double knotted for safety. These are, say it with me y'all, these are some handsome chucks. You want to look around the office? Yeah, I do. So see these rings? What is that? Uh, Dallas Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys, Texas Sports Hall of Fame. So we used to have a kid that worked here, and his name was Keith Gailey. Very nice young man. I hired him to be a DJ next door. Great guy. We loved him. He passed away a few years ago, but he always wore these big rings, and he gave me those. Such a nice kid. Okay, let's read Grandma's calendar. The first thing you got to do is pull it out. Okay, got that there. Let's see, June the 9th. Yep. I mean 10th. June 1949, 75 years ago today, June 10th. I washed today and it rained before I got them hung out. Oh, I guess you had a clothesline. Mama and Helen came over a while this evening. Grandma did a lot of washing and ironing, cleaning. Uh, dad joke, I used to be addicted to basketball, but I rebounded. The Mavs could have used some re more rebounding last night. The Celtics are tough. They're tough. Get off the couch, a motivational minute. Life can be boring. But it's okay to laugh and joke around, be crazy once in a while. Just be happy. Like my daughter, Lena Presser. Lena Presser. <laughs> Got to get used to that. And Chelsea Fairless. Soon to be Chelsea Tucker. Uh, Strokers Dallas Merch. M-E-R-C-H dot com. I'd appreciate it if you check that out. Did you do any riding this weekend? Are you still riding? You know, I have some friends that I ride with in the Hamsters USA that are, see Hamsters USA right there? That are in their 80s. They still ride. God, please let me still be, first of all, God, let me still be around in my 80s, but let me still be riding in my 80s. That's, that's a cool thing. Are you still riding? Are you still riding? Do you want to ride? If you want to ride, I can help you. StrokersOnline.com All right. I'm going to leave you with this. Did you know who is Barbie's little sister? Skipper. And that... Yes, I said Skipper. Not the skipper, I guess it's another skipper. And that, boys and uh, girls, is the rest of the story. First of all, I didn't know Barbie had a sister. Second of all, is it a younger sister or an older sister? I'm guessing it's a younger sister if her name is Skipper. I actually have a uh, Dallas Cowboys Barbie doll. Uh, maybe I gave it to somebody, I don't remember. Maybe I gave it to somebody I don't know. All right, Rick, fearless, fearless. I can tell you that being married is, if you're married to the right person, it is so wonderful. It is so wonderful. My brother is married to the right person. I am married to the right person. Both my daughters have found the right person in their life. So I think that's cool. And uh, if you're single, you can be happy too. You got less people to please if you're single. But if you're married, I hope you got a good earn like we do. All right, Rick, fearless, fearless, I got to go. I got a lot of work to do. Love you, bye. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow.